When we do intervention, we aim to do it that day and quite immediate from the lesson. So we'll give children a break so they can have um, a, a, a pause from their learning. In your books, I've put a worksheet. If you open your books now and have a look at the worksheet, don't start just yet. I need listening ears. Some of the things in the worksheet are things that we've already done on our PowerPoint. But other things are slightly different and I need you to spend some time thinking. But this is for you now to show me what you can do independently and show your understanding of your six times tables. So you can now start your activity in your books. Giving the children an independent task allows them to show me they have a full understanding slightly later in the day. During their break time, I had a chance to assess who I needed to give some more intervention support to. I have some dominoes. And on the dominoes are some multiplication sentences using the three times table and the six times table. And we're going to see if we can complete the shape of the dominoes. Now, you're going to have to... When I do the intervention group, I need to strip it back a little more and go back perhaps to another lesson. Today's intervention, it was important that we went back to the three times table. Cleo, which one would you like to start with? <coughs> this one here. So Cleo's chosen this one. We're going to look at the black numbers first. So it says five times three. Can you find the answer to five times three? Can you think of the answer first of all? What's the answer? 15. Can you find it? So Myra spotted it, haven't you? Good girl. So what you're going to do, darling, is pop the 15 next to the answer. OK. So the next one. Emily, what's the next question? One times six. What's the answer to that? Six. Can you find that for me? You're a good spotter. <laughs> good girl. And we can carry on. Should we ch let's change the direction a little bit here? So, Lyndon, yours is the next one. What's the next question? What's the question here, sweetie? Three times three. What's the answer? Um, nine. Good, so tell me the whole number sentence. Three times three equals nine. Can you find that and see if you can carry on going? OK. Pop it up there. Pop on the next one. Myra, next one. Uh, What's the next question? Uh, seven times three. And what's the answer? 20. Here we go. Can you spot it? Yes. And carry on, Trinity. Oh, oh, have a little look. What does it say there? Five times six. Have I got an answer as well? Six. Five times six. What's the answer to that? Good girls, tell me the whole number sentence. Five times six equals five. Good girl, can you find that for me? <laughs> What's the next question? Six times six. What's your answer there you're looking for? Good girl, so say the whole number sentence to me. Six times six equals five. Good girl, can you spot it? Good job. Carry on, Emily. What's the next question? Eight times three. Twenty-four. Good girl, can you find that for us? Lyndon, what's the next one? Three times four equals twelve. Good boy, so can you spot that for me? Maybe Cleo can help you. It's a bit closer. Good. Yeah. Um, Next one, Myra. No, I don't Yes. What answer are you looking for? Can you spot that? You spotted it already, didn't you? Well done. Pop it in. And Trinity, next one for me. Six times three equals... Eighteen. Good girl. 
and Emily? Six times six. Six. Good. And then magically, if we go this way, let's carry on. And Linda? Can you see that there? Six times eight equals... Forty-eight. Yes, good boy. Want to pop that in place for us? What do you know to help you? You're going through the whole of the six times tables. What can help you if you're not sure on 11 times six? Is there one that you really know very, very well? 10 times six. Good gal. What is 10 times six? 60. So what's 11 times six? Have a little think about it. You've just said 10 times 6 is 60. What do you need to do to find 11 times 6? What are we doing? We've found 10 times 6. Add 11 times. We know that 10 times 6 equals 60. OK? We want to know what 11 times 6 equals... What have we done? Can you help, Myra? You can put another 6. Why are we putting another 6? What have you done? What did you need to do? Um, because it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger, but how much bigger is it, has it got? Um, so you're adding 6, aren't you? It's got, it's got bigger by 6. So what's the answer then? 66. Yes, good, it's 66, because what did you do? You... Uh, added 6 and 6 together. You just added another 6, didn't you? Because 10 times 6 is 60, and then you added another 6 to make 11 times 6. Can you join that on? Can you see how we complete our dominoes? Good girl. When I did the intervention, it's really important that I had resources that were fitting to what I needed to strip back to give the children a better understanding. Um, I use a lot of math resources with the children and that's accessible to all the children all the time. So for the children that I worked with initially, I wanted to just strip back from the six times table going back to the three times table, make sure they had that link before we then moved forward. Can you show me one group of monsters' limbs using the counters? Really quickly. Show me one group of the monsters' limbs using the counters. The limbs are the arms and the legs. How many are in each group? But what I'm going to do is just move them that way, because that is one group of six. Well done. You have one group of six limbs. Now show me two groups of six limbs. How many do you have there? Use your six times tables to help you with your grouping. Oh, I think you're counting up lots of things. How many groups have you got there? Two. Okay, so two groups of six. Mm. One child, although was able to chant their six times tables, wasn't secure with what that looked like. So going back to using arrays and knowing that one times six is one line of six counters. Two times six is two lines of six counters. And going that through gave them a bit more security and understanding of what not only it is by chanting, but what it looks like as a solid object. Have a look at your counters to help you, darling. It's all there to help you. Show me one group of six. Separate them and show me one group of six. Good boy. How many's there? Six. How many is there? Six. How many have you got in total in your two groups? Um, Twelve. Good boy. What's two groups of six? Twelve. Tell me that as a multiple. Two groups of six equals twelve. Good. So two times six equals twelve. And then we'd move on to start making those arrays and writing down the number sentences as well. Let's use these counters to help us start our rolling numbers again. OK, so let's use our rolling numbers to help us. Can I see your hands for me? You may get us going to see your fingers with the sixes. Yeah. Six, 12, 
18. Children that struggled by stripping it all back. We managed to fill holes quite quickly. 48, and things that they may have found difficult earlier on, they started making sense to them because we practiced again and again and really worked on their fluency. We can do our sevens too. What does, using your rolling numbers, what does two times six mean? Twelve. Good boy, tell me as a number sentence. Two times six equals twelve. High five. Good boy, pop your counters into the middle for me. All the children successfully now use all resources making sure all children are being challenged and all children were de deepening and mastering their maths.